Hi guys and welcome to another episode of The Navy Nurse. I'm out here in, at beautiful Cape Maeda in Okinawa. I figured I was out and I could just do a, a video right now. Um, so I've had a few people actually ask me about what it's like to be in the Navy and work as a nurse in the Navy with a family, um, pregnancy in the Navy, all of that. So I would like to talk to you about that in this video. So just a bit about myself as far as family goes. Um, I am married um, and I have a 12 year old and a two year old. So in that aspect, I'll talk about like step, steps, uh, step children and like your own children as well because my 12 year old, she is my stepdaughter and I actually met my husband while I had already been in the Navy. So if you have a stepchild, um, just know that you, in order for your stepchild to get any benefits like medical, dental benefits, and even be able to PCS and move to different duty stations with you, you will need to have basically custody of that child. So like my husband, he has full custody of um, my 12 year old stepdaughter and that's how we're able to legally move um, to different duty stations. And then my two year old is my biological son, so no issues there. Um, so uh, family stuff, okay, so I'll start with pregnancy. So there's an actual naval instruction, just so you know there's instructions for pretty much everything in the Navy. There's no way you can possibly read all of them. Um, but you'll get to be very intimate with some of the instructions just because your junior sailors or your corpsmen, um, they'll ask you about things and you'll have to read about the instruction. Um, but anyway, there's an instruction about um, pregnancy and um, leave and all of that kind of stuff. So I got pregnant. While I was pregnant, I was working on um, the med surge floor at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. So I was at a shore command and um, you, I was, you have to let your chain of command know that you're pregnant. Um, that way they can start planning ahead because they know that you're going to be off of work after you give birth. So in the instruction, when you're pregnant, um, after 28 weeks, you will only be required to work only 40 hours a week. So if you're working more than that because you're standing duty or you're having to do extra training or whatever your job entails, you all of that you'll only be, be able to do 40 weeks at that time. Um, after you give birth, um, you get six weeks of non-chargeable leave meaning whatever leave you have it's not going to be charged it's basically free leave um, six weeks that you have to spend with your newborn um, so that equals out to 42 days if you are the father um, you have 14 days or two weeks of leave uh, that's non-chargeable um, so after after that it just it depends what who you want to watch your children like if you want your child to go to a daycare there are cdc's or child development centers pretty much everywhere that i've been stationed um, to help care for your child it's a daycare basically um, you do have to put your child on a waiting list um, and sometimes the waiting list can be long so i recommend the minute you know that you're pregnant just let um, there's a website called milit militarychildcare.com and wherever you're at, you have to um, put your name and what your, your child's name, if you know their name at that point, um, on the waiting list. And then hopefully by the time you actually need childcare, um, it will be available for you. Um, you don't have to put your child in a daycare if you have like your husband or your wife um, if they're not in the military and they're they can like say they're a stay-at-home parent they can totally watch your children if both of you are in the military so let's say you and your spouse want to join the military and you're thinking about having a baby 
it's totally doable um, I will say that it, it is difficult though because if both of you have to do have duty or have to work um, or have trainings that you need to go to you do need a family care plan and basically in that family care plan it will state who's gonna be taking care of your children while both of you have to work um, so the question that I get a lot is, is it hard to be married and have a family, have children while I'm in the military? The answer is yes, it's difficult, but it's totally doable. Um, you just have to plan, okay? You always have to be one step ahead. Um, and I would suggest just having your calendar out and knowing what days you're gonna have to be training or what days you're gonna have to be working um, or if you're going on deployment I recommend having a talk with your family um, and just coming up with a plan to see how you're gonna spend time with your children and who's gonna be taking care of your children while you're away um, so I know a lot of people who have children in the military and we just we make it work um, it's it's definitely a special situation um, because you know you're in the military and you can't just call out sick to be with your child if if they're sick or if something's going on at school that you want to be there for the military unfortunately doesn't work like that you you can't just you know leave you actually have to be at your appointed place of duty at how for however many hours you're supposed to be there um, but I will say that if you have a good chain of command and you make known what you're trying to do when you're trying to be with your child that they will work with you. The military has shifted a lot toward making families happy because the military knows that if you have a happy service member whose family is happy, that you're more apt to stay in the military and not get out. So it shifted a lot toward family friendly type of you know decisions that, that everyone is making. Um, for example, uh, I am stationed here in Okinawa until January 2021. At that time, my 12-year-old stepdaughter, she will be in ninth grade. So that's going to be her first year of high school. So I don't want to move her in January and have her to have her start high school at another school like mid-year so one of the things that I've already asked my detailer is can I extend until June so that she can finish her ninth grade year and then you know from there we'll, we'll transition in the summer and they said yes I just have to um, ask permission I have to write a letter of intent to my chain of command and the detailer and then it's just a little bit too early like in six months is when they can actually make a decision um, so they're basically saying yes you're going to get it I just need to write that letter of intent so that's just one example of how the military will try to work with you um, what else can I say about families? Um, schools, so uh, they're overseas, like for example here, they have the D-O-D-E-A system or DODEA, and that's the military school network, if you will. Um, they have military schools um, overseas because they know that you know military service members have children and they need to still get an education. Um, that the school is actually amazing they know that all the children have military families they know the the special things that military children go through and they work with the kids a lot they have counselors like if the if the children are having a hard time with moving or being new in a school um, and the actual school work it translates to what you would have in the states in a public school so um, I'm really happy with the school system um, out here um, when you're in the states uh, it's usually wherever you're living 
that's the school that your um, kid is gonna go to, whatever district you're in. So just like how it would be if you were civilian. Um, other thoughts on family life, I would say spend time with your family when you have the time. The reason I say that is because especially as a nurse, if you're a critical care nurse at that, you are most likely going to deploy at some point and just keeping the lines of communication open with your spouse, with your children, spending that time when you're actually there with them counts so much. Um, other things that the military has, like they, we have programs when you are deployed um, where you can videotape yourself reading a book to your child and then send it to your family and it's like you're actually reading the book with your child. So that's, there's a ton of programs because they know, the military knows how hard it is to be away from your family. Um, I know that's really broad what I just talked about, but if you have, you know, any specific questions, go ahead and ask them and I can do different videos answering your questions. So I just wanna do a broad one, kinda of just to throw out some information. And yeah, if you're liking the videos, continue to like and subscribe. Um, tell your friends, talk to them. If anyone wants to join the military, I'm full of information. I have like 14 years in, I'm a single, and married with children so I can speak on both aspects. So anyway, have a good day or night wherever you're out in the world and I'll see you soon.